<laughs> hey everybody oh wait oh never mind no, no, no it's we're working. good we're good it's working well okay no it's working the reason i'm freaking out is because okay. we have new mics yeah we're so testing. if you've noticed an increase in audio quality it's here it's here yeah we check out this mics. check out this increase in audio quality ready uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> This is also a very special episode because we have a very special guest. <laughs> Who is it? John Tron. Yo, everybody. finally. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop shitting. <laughs> That's John Tron, everybody. Hey, give it up for John Tron. <laughs> See, you went right into that. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna like actually like lean into the bit and be like, yeah, it took a lot of work with our agents <laughs> and like, there he was like, the best I can get you is John Tron, and we're like, okay, okay, we'll take John we'll Tron, take John we'll take John Tron. Tron, all right, fine, but that was funny too. Yeah. So, no, this that's really, the funny joke of the podcast. Yeah, it's Donald all Addison's down time. downhill from here. There's no more jokes. No more Sorry. Jokes. No, this feels cool. It's a nice little yeah. setup. Like, yeah, we look, are looking at each other now. Yeah. Now I can't like punch you though. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to punch across the table. Yeah. It's too long. You just hailed Hitler at me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a punch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the callouts. I'm I'm glad we don't have video. Mm. We we might be able to do video with this setup. There's a little bit of space. Yeah. I don't think it's enough for the wide angle. Maybe if you got like a fish eye lens. Ooh, that could be a cool that could video be cool. podcast. The first ever podcast the with fish a fish eye eye lens. The audio just looks really quiet, but like we can adjust it we, in post. Yeah, we'll adjust it. It's probably because we're using better mics with a better sound. It's just not blown out like it's yeah. but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, when we listened before it sounded you know, it sounded inadequate. Yeah. I can turn it up even more. Boo! Q Transformers fucking noises. I don't know, I'm too scared. <laughs> to look up Transformer fucking noises? Yeah. Uh, to turn it up more. <laughs> oh, like mid ep. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's let, already, look let, at let, how high these yeah, let, already are. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll keep it the same the whole episode. Yeah. and then yeah. We'll see. We'll see if something needs to happen. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> here's, dude. Okay, right? Whose Roblox ooh is better? <laughs> All right, here's mine. Ready? Ready? Oh! <laughs> no, the Roblox guy. No, it's like. Oh! 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 oh. Look it up! Oh! Mine is perfect. It's impossible no, to it's do. Im no, I know mine is. Uh, I was trying to, I was thinking about going with a bit that like, uh, I thought I was really good at it, but like, no, you gotta, you gotta do the kid at the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. I know. Oh. Well, that's where they got the sound. Oh. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Why is this a video? Did they record this video for the purposes of getting an oof sound? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he does it again. Watch the whole thing. <laughs> That's not getting picked up on the microphones at all, by the way. <laughs> Maybe it is. We don't know. Could be. It could be. Hmm. Hmm. We may have to try some various different methods if we want to get the audio from the PC. Eh. Maybe or that's what we don't guess. need it. We don't, we don't need, need it. it. You can guess. It was yeah. the oof sound. Yeah, it was the oof sound. Listen, we're going through a transitionary period. Yeah, yeah Nathan's trans. <laughs> <laughs> trans microphone. Mm. I'm trans. Uh. Um, trans. Uh. I am transit. I am a bus. <laughs> I am transit. Remember that, like, that really stupid, like, joke that, like, right-wing comedians would always say, like, you can identify as anything now. Mm -hmm. Like, an attack helicopter. Uh, but then Louis C.K., when he tried to come back, like, a couple years ago after he got canceled, he, like, did uh, a stand-up show. 
And he literally made that joke. Mm. Like, he said, attack helicopter. And I was like, really? That sucks. It's, it's not good. Louis it's CK not... just going on stage and saying internet memes. Yeah, it was weird. Apparently, he's going on tour again this year. And Somebody coming... set us up the bomb. <laughs> okay, well, uh, he's coming. On... I'm a fire in my mm. laser. Okay, this isn't good. <laughs> Stop! Um, he's coming on tour to Spokane. Should we go see Louis C.K.? Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Whitney Cummings I, is I also... kind of cool. Whitney Cummings is also coming. The Spokane Comedy She's Club... coming. T- yeah, funny. She's... I, I, I like Whitney <laughs> Cummings. She talked about the Spokane Comedy Club on Ooh. the Joe Rogan podcast. Ooh. What did I... I think I saw her on H3. Yeah. Yeah, she's friends with them. She's, she's cool. We need to see her and become friends with her so we can become friends with Ethan. Yeah, we should. We need to become friends with her and say, hey, can you give us Ethan from H3's <laughs> number? No, you gotta start low. Just give me Zach's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> we could get along with Zach. Yeah, Zach, oh, I just come on s- the podcast. I just want to start Episode beef with Zach, though, because his taste in music is absolute dog shit. Mm. That guy is, like, the cringiest, like... Like, so I'm just uh, testing out the mic. <laughs> he's just like a classic butt rock like mm. lover, and like he's done. He's like played like songs on, uh, showed him on the podcast, and he do, and he just like, dude, he loves singing like f- fucking Dave Grohl, you know mm. that kind of like butt rock, and it's just Dave like, Grohl's not the worst. He's not the worst, not but the like worst one. But like, it's it's a pipeline. <laughs> You know, he like he like legitimately likes Nickelback and like mm, will be like bad. Nickelback is actually good. No, yeah, it's just no. not. It's not true. No, sorry. Nickelback is soulless music made to specifically to cater to a a, a specific demographic. Look at this graph. <laughs> that is Louis C.K. I don't. I don't stand believe up. there's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe there's a single uh, Nickelback song that the, the people actually like thought of and were like, "This is a good song. I love this idea. No, I'm I excited mean, but they, about this no, idea." But they, 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 those kind of people, they think those songs are good. At least when they wrote them, mm. they think they're good. I think, I think uh, they went, "How do we become famous rock stars?" Well, that's yeah. This is the type of song we need to make. But you think about, like, the era that they came out of, and they're, like, from Canada. Like, it was just, like, a perfect storm of, like, post-grunge. Like, these guys are kind of edgy. Yeah, like, it was a small market. Edgy Canadians. It's like, dude, it's cool. It was epic. You know, we were there. Hey, hey, I want to be a big guy. For you. For you. It's Louis C.K. Louis C.K., dude. <laughs> also, Trevor Wallace is coming to Spokane oh, Comedy Club. He's already actually right. performed there like a couple years ago. Mm, I would see Trevor Wallace. That. Trevor Wallace. I only found Trevor Wallace because of Shirdleys, but he's mm. so much better than Shirdleys, dude. The Shirt- other Shirdleys. The other Shirdleys. Shirdleys fell off. We've, we've talked about that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think he just got tired of it. I, I think he stayed pretty consistent. It's, yeah. It's, which is kind of the problem. Yeah, it's like it's low effort. Consistent. He just gets some Instagram babes and then is like, oh, babe, here's a new character about how d- what I What if say, this type of guy yeah. tried to have sex with you? That's exactly, <laughs> yeah, that's it. What if this guy thought you were hot? What if babe, this guy come thought- over and play Super Metroid, babe. Super Metroid is for idiots. Come and play Sonic. Anyways, yeah, Trevor Wallace though, he's funny. I just want he had a. I mean, he puts out vids all the time too. But he just had a really funny one that I I really got. It was um, <laughs> it was uh, it was like Starbucks barista at like a real Starbucks location, and then a Starbucks location inside of like a grocery store <laughs> or like a Target, and so like he like played two different people and like the one of the actual location is just like this we heard like oh yeah what can i get for you how's your day going and then the one in like the target is just like what the fuck you say to me <laughs> it's really good it's really true though like the 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 starbucks in in our target it's just so mm. crunchy and weird <laughs> and like because it's so fast paced well, i mean like 
I mean, normal Starbucks stands are, but it's like people are like in and out getting groceries. Like they expect mm -hmm. to be, yeah, you know, it's just like a whole thing. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is the sound effect portion. Oh my God. <laughs> Be sure to pause and record a sound effect. This is uh, this is public domain. This is Creative <laughs> Commons, so you can use these for your video games I forgot, and your rap songs. I forgot how hard the liquor is we have. It's like it's. Oh my god, that fucked me up. There's like, so I don't know if you're having this problem with the uh, with the seltzers, but there's like, yeah, the seltzers are fine. There's it's the like a shot. um. There's like a crease. A I feel the crease. It's disturbing. Yeah. It's disturbing. It feels like the <coughs> can is about to split open. I want to rub my dick on that it's and get disturbing a paper crease. cut. Dude, ugh, that fucked me up. Yeah, you're gonna I don't be know if I can. How, how long have we been going? Like 11 minutes? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> mm. I just want to be a big black star. Got the kids jump bar and the kids up our car. Well, we skipped last week. We had a little break week because yeah, you were sick. I was sick. Really sick. <laughs> I got Nathan sick because yeah. I got really sick, and then we went swimming together, and we shared a scuba mask. Yeah, <laughs> we got a little carried away in the lake. It was really fun though. That was a yeah. good lake day. It was a good lake. That was day. so. You, we had such a good day. Yeah, we saw a lot of snails. We saw a lot of snails, but then we went and hung out with the boys. Later. We hung out with the boys. We hung out with the band. Yeah, it was really funny. Nathan and I just like got wasted and. Jason Beck just got high as shit and like it was the end of the night it was so funny they just like <laughs> they were just like okay we're going to bed and we're like okay <laughs> man <laughs> it's funny though oh I need, to, I need to get more into ubers and stuff because man it sucked like stopping drinking i know and then having to watch you guys have actual fun while i had to be Bored. I know, dude. No, getting, getting, <laughs> get, go with Lyft, not Uber. Mm. Well, aren't they the same? They're different companies. I and thought they were the same. No, no. Well, I mean, I how do you got mean they're the same? I thought somebody said they got conjoined. They're not. As far as I know, they're not. Well, that's but. good if they're not, because that made me mad. <laughs> I hate it. I hate monopolies, and me I hate too. the game Monopoly. Also, me as well. But um. But see, I wasn't I wasn't done telling the story of that night. But then, uh -huh. but it but what you started saying was related to the next night you and I hung out. Which was, right. <laughs> but but <laughs> oh, we'll get to that one. Yeah, you go, go go back. What do you mean? <laughs> um, but no, that's fine. I I went on a huge what are the odds tirade, mm -hmm. and it was there's some good ones. Yeah. Dick got dick. dick. <laughs> Beck showed his dick. <laughs> Um, Dick showed his back. Dick showed his back. Nathan had to go like <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> the whole night without your yeah, shirt I on. I had to go the whole night with my shirt off. I think I got, I got Chase to do something. I don't remember. It was yeah. like, did I what? Yell something? Or... No. Well, I had Beck run out into the street and yell, "Bell Delphine is my waifu." Uh -huh. That was pretty good. I thought I did something like I got I made Chase like do something on like Tinder or like I'm the one who made him like like Grubhub delivery like two boxes of white claws or something I can't remember or did we just do that organically I think we, I think I we just did that did okay I don't remember Chase pizza? getting thought, getting thought, got I thought there was like one high end thing like that but maybe I'm just mm. I don't know I got fucked up mm. it was tight yeah. Yeah, that was a fun. It was fun. fun time. It was nice hanging out with the boys. Hanging with the boys. Maybe eventually we'll actually have band practice. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, At this rate it looks like our gig possibly yeah. might not be happening. I as don't well. think so. Like, I mean, <sighs> like me, notwithstanding, you guys just haven't practiced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll see. Well, also, yeah. the fucking Delta variant is yeah. cropping up. I don't know how serious that is yet. People are talking about it more. It's, I mean, it's serious. I like, even. I haven't heard the numbers. Even, um, I mean, cases are going up. Um, uh, the Spokane Hospital downtown, either Sacred Heart or Providence, um, has stopped allowing guests be and mm. like major and or like minor surgeries because they have such an influx of COVID. Man. So. It'll suck if that starts spreading around because I guarantee we'll do even worse this time. Oh yeah, because we, <laughs> because we because people were idiots the first time and didn't uh, take it seriously enough, so they're more tired of it this time. It's 
but it's I'm it, gonna make it even uh, worse this time. Yeah. So there. It's absurd. Yeah, and like yeah, I think I told you like we're required to wear masks again at Target. So oh my like, god! Like, no. Uh, and my slave muzzle. My st- <laughs> my mom legitimately said that when I think it was Mother's <laughs> Day or Father. No, it was Mother's Day. Uh, cousin Keith had his mask on at our family gathering and my mom was trying to take a group picture of us and she's like take off your muzzle like jokingly but like low key she meant it <laughs> take off your libtard device take off your libtard diaper the old cuck <laughs> that's what she called my cousin a little libtard cuck get over the old cuck <laughs> take a picture with the family Yeah, that's gonna be us when we're old just kidding! I'm not having children. Oh, I'm gonna call my <laughs> I'm gonna call my children the libtard cucks. Get over here, you're the old cuck, and eat your Dude, broccoli. It sucks. I really want to be a parent and have kids, but just like it's just so unethical with the yeah. climate disaster. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that probably didn't carry over. Didn't we just, just heard Dylan go. Ah! No, <laughs> he heard Dylan die on a video game. Uh, he's playing video games, but he told us before we went in here that he was just gonna get high and then go jerk off in the shower. Pretty so cool. we're waiting for the report on that. We'll keep I don't you posted. Think I jerked off when I did all that kratom. Maybe you should have. Yeah. I'm, okay. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that night. That night was. <laughs> so it was last Saturday. <laughs> I mean, oh, it was only like four days yeah. ago, but. Um, <laughs> We didn't, so we didn't podcast. I'm like, oh god, well, we gotta hang out. Yeah, so, I was starting to feel a little better. Yeah. And Garrett was already infected. Yeah, so we had a little shindig. Um, so I just came up and I bought two, <laughs> I bought two bottles <laughs> of Mad Dog 2020, <laughs> and I, and I, you didn't drink at all, but yeah. you had like nine capsules, no, like <laughs> closer to twenty <laughs> capsules. <laughs> It, it, it was either 16 or 20. Oh, my God. That's such a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. Well, drinking two MD 2020s was a lot. I forgot. Yeah, you and... were really rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop you from breaking things. I know. Well, okay. I felt so bad because I – Dylan – it was, uh, we spent a lot of the time just watching shit on YouTube in the living mm-hmm. room. And it was a good time. We watched, we watched a lot of, uh, Woodstock 99 footage, mm-hmm. which is fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we. It's just one of those days. It's just one of those days. You want to break stuff. Yeah. Um, but then Nathan and I went out on the porch to smoke and, and, um, and Dylan's like, okay, well you, you need an ashtray. So we brought out a bowl <laughs> and. <laughs> And we were you. We were you. I was using it fine up until a point. I I was I was just like kicking the railing. Yeah. And like I always feels like so shitty. Like I don't know. I, I know there's like this impression of me that like I just like don't give a fuck about anything. But dude, I always like feel bad about like whatever stupid if, shit I do. If only you'd felt that I way know. at the time. I know. Maybe we would still have that bowl. I know. It was. I, I knocked. I knocked the bowl onto the downstairs neighbor's porch, and it's still there. Apparently, still to there. this day. Is it? I don't know. We can go check. We can check. I don't know. Does Dylan don't even know. know I knocked it down? Uh, I never told him. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, Nathan's sitting on a cajon. He knows what's up. Oh yeah, we'll check this out. That's, that can be like, yeah, <laughs> a lot so of dust disgusting. came off of that. Oh, what am I drink? I, well, when we switch from topics, I'll do a, a, a song. Oh, we're on a new topic. Look at that. Today we're talking about... I don't know. Anyways, that was a, <laughs> that was a really fun night. And that, well, that brings us to lift thing because, mm-hmm. well, I got here super late because it was a Saturday and the bus that comes up here, um, like, after like five, it only runs hourly. And so, like, I I was ready to come up, and then I saw the bus drive away, so I had to waste an hour downtown by myself, Damn. which was it was fine. I went and got a drink and walked around, and it was fine. But um, but I got here, and, like, so I could only stay for, like, like three hours if I wanted to get the bus, and then I was like, nah, Nathan, download the Lyft app. <laughs> and so I stayed until, like, 2. Yeah. <laughs> well, we called the Lyft, like, shortly after 1, and then yeah. it took forever to find one because it was late. Yeah. And also, there's, I guess there's not very many people up here on the north side of Spokane. 
That's true. Which is crazy. The north side has expanded so much mm-hmm. since we were in school. Like my cock has expanded so much since I was in school. <laughs> Barely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hey, you see the new uh, Iz- Izzy's video? Uh, the Rain First one? Yeah. No, I didn't watch that. <gasps> dude! I've already watched a video about Rain First. No, but, ha- dude, she it has a Spokane connection. Uh? She literally, she says Spokane, and then she says it a second time and says Spokane. It's so funny, because everyone who doesn't Spokane? know. Spokane? Spokane? No, because the Spokane? thing about... I don't know. Does does everyone know about rainforest? Or rainforest? Sorry, excuse me. Answer if you do. Yeah, put in the comments if you were at rainforest 2015. <laughs> I can't believe I was so close to that in 2015 by being in Olympia. I should have gone up. That would have been cool. Um. Anyways, rain Legendary. rainforest rainforest was this horrible furry convention in um uh. like SeaTac, Washington, which is like just south of Seattle. And it was bad. Furries were horrible and like destroyed a hotel and they OD'd. Went full fur mode. Yeah, um, and it was notorious. And and um, they the year after they tried to keep it going and were going to uh, try to find a different hotel to host it, but like word spread and nothing on the west side wanted to host them. Mm. So they thought about bring it to Spokane, and at first like the furries were like no Spokane is like really redneck and stuff and so like Izzy says that in her she quotes that in her video (laughs) and she's like I don't know that much about the United States and Washington but like (laughs) like I just like she's from New Zealand like she probably has no idea like the differences between Seattle and Spokane yeah Yeah. but I thought it was it was night and day babe but but the story was they got a hotel booked in Spokane it was going to be here Uh but then like last minute like some word got to the manager and (laughs) Wait! Stop! Stop the furries! Stop! He's about to sign the contract yeah. and then somebody bursts in. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I thought that was cool. I want. Ah, uh, yeah, you should watch it. Come I on mean, the pod, Izzy's. Yeah, come on the pod, please. <laughs> like, come to America. Come to Brazil. <laughs> come to Brazil. Like Nathan's art he posted of you on Twitter. Yeah. Jeez. I was so sad. And then, like, she puts, like, fan art at the end of her yeah. video. And it would have been so perfect uh-huh. if someone from Spokane had fan art at the end of her video where she mentioned perfect. Spokane. Yeah. Oh, well. I don't know. I just think it's cool, like, when Spokane comes up, mm-hmm. like, across the world. Like, Izzy, she, she, she mentioned Spokane. That's yeah. fucking cool. When Super Mega goes to Spokane on the trucker game. Yeah, I forgot. They discover <gasps> Chini. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, another one. Uh, um, one of my recent uh, YouTube watchings that I am totally engrossed with. I found this guy called. Um, oh no, I'm forgetting. Cutie Pie. Uh, I forget his name. His YouTube Nikocado name. Nikocado Avocado. It's like strange travel, strange adventure, strange travels, or something. But his whole channel is he is like a, he's like a fruit lord. He like mm. travels all over the world. So he's gay. Yes. He, to um no, he has a GF. Oh. Okay. Um he goes ah, all over I the world. And is. he tries different fruit and he so he has like five hundred videos of him like trying different fruit and he's just like this super cool dude. Um and you know how much I love fruit. Mm-hmm. I've been learning a lot more about fruit. But um, in some of his videos, he has, like, these cool little intros of, like, driving scenes of, like, you know, like, through the windshield of his car, like, going through the countryside and things. I loaded one up, and I was watching the intro, and then I was like, that's a downtown Spokane intersection. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, it's from, like, 2015. And, and, I, was like, and I was like, what? That's fucking cool. So, yeah, another cool thing. You have some dust on your finger. Yeah, I- <laughs> <laughs> you, that's a dusty ass fan, boy. Get that damn boy. Get that dust off of there. Fan. You know that meme I'm referencing? Get that dust off of there. <laughs> no. Yeah. Get that pepper off of there. Man, I don't even want to watch this anymore. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> pull, pull that up. Get that pepper off of there. <laughs> it's like this this dude watching like. Okay, it's like a black dude watching like a white person prepare like a steak and they just put they they marinate the steak or like I don't know what you call it, but they just put like mustard and pepper all over the steak. Well, yeah. Oh, I've seen yeah. a video <laughs> like this. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Now don't put 
Get that pimp off me. Get that pimp off me. Man, come on now. Come on, get that pimp off me. I just too much dog on pimp. I don't even want to feed it no more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's one of my favorite videos. Yeah, I've seen a couple videos of people like reacting to horrible food TikToks. I, lo I love that shit, dude. It's good. It's really it's one. funny. And then he goes, Beans? <laughs> yeah, the beans. <laughs> you wasted both. You wasted both. <laughs> beans? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. That reminds me of another one that, like, I can see, Ooh. like, in my head, I can see, like, the guy screaming. Oh, I don't know if it's related, but it's like, I don't know, this one guy is just yelling, Damn! <laughs> Damn! But, like, somebody put, like, a caption on top of it and says, Beavers, when they see a small body of water surrounded <laughs> by trees. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it's really good. Yo, hitting the watermelon. No, try a different one. I want to know. What do you mean? Oh, I guess that's a different one to you. We did, neither of us had have, have has had the pineapple or dragon I fruit yet. One. I know. I need to speed but up. we've each had. Uh, we've we're we're yeah. Okay. I don't know. Who I've cares? I've also had like the equivalent of like three to four shots of moonshine. Which, by the way, I just it's been a while since I've drank because I was sick. This apple pie is really fucking good. Yeah. I can just like drink this out of the bottle forever until Dude, I die. That's bad. Well, that's there's <laughs> like okay. Um, so rest in peace. Was his name Trevor? From Wise Kids, you know. Mm, yes. There's like a conspiracy on the mm. internet about how I'm he sure died. It's very true. There's, but there's like a a lot of conspiracies. But one of them is that he was he was talking on a like some podcast about how he was getting into making moonshine uh. and, <laughs> and so people were uh -huh. are thinking he died from like taste or like testing out like improperly made moonshine mm. i think is one of the theories yeah i don't know but there was there's like I'd, a couple I'd, i rate my plausibility of that very low yeah but like yeah it's not, i mean there was he said a thing one time on a podcast surely that's it was like the only but, but it was like that. really recently though like and he is he was like making moonshine uh -huh. and it's like a thing like you can fuck up making moonshine like yeah. you really can it's yeah. a it's a difficult thing um but i don't know I don't. I don't want to give like conspiracy theorists things that, but it's, he's a fucking. It's Trevor. What's his name from the Wise Kids? You know, Trevor like why? Wallace from why does kids? You know? <laughs> but like, why do there need to be like conspiracy theories about why he yeah. died? I don't know. I don't know. You know, like if there's no official story about how he died, that's fine, and people shouldn't pry. Mm -hmm. If nobody publicly says, yeah. just leave it alone. Yeah. No. For Who sure. Who cares? Yeah. Rest in peace to a king. Well, I mean, there's a couple sides to that. Because if they die from, like, substance abuse, like, I feel like it's mm. kind of a right for fans to know because that brings mm. that issue to the front, kind of. You know what I mean? Uh, so, but it's yeah, still private I, with the family. It's, it's yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But it's like, you know what I mean, though? Kind of. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Eh. Yeah, I wouldn't, it's like, I wouldn't care personally. Yeah, I'm no, I wouldn't way. care, but it's like, I mean, think about like when, when like Robin. If I found out he was a drug addict, that wouldn't change no, how I think. No, about no, no, it. no, no, no. That's not my what I mean. It's like it's like when Robin Williams, you know, died from like whatever, but like he had like severe mm -hmm. depression, and like people only like found that out right. like after he died, and it's like, well, yeah. I mean, then well, that's, yeah, I guess yeah, if it can like help bring light to an issue that's or what something. i mean yeah, yeah. but still yeah. i think that's doesn't that yeah. doesn't overrule no the I, family's no, personal no, 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 decisions no, no. yeah i agree i agree I you agree, know if definitely. they want to bring light to an issue that's the, the balls in their court mm. the balls are in my mouth the balls are in their mouth mm. what have you uh you just been playing hades um well, I'm close to getting every Steam achievement on Hades. There's one good. left. I have to beat the 16 Heat Challenge. So you... Okay, so... And that's when I got my <sighs> dick sucked. Anyways, we're back. <laughs> uh...
<laughs> yeah, we have some audio issues. Uh, Audacity stopped recording halfway through. Dude, whoever made Audacity, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh! Um, oh! So hopefully this works. <laughs> oh! I mean, we were about at the 30 minute oh! mark, so that's we'll my just, uh... That's my um, rendition of the character Beetle uh -huh. from The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He goes like that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah we missed the whole story about how we watched del phil del bell del phil del phil del phil del del phil porn um yeah on, uh, on last saturday when, yeah. when i was wasted i completely mm -hmm. forgot i also forgot nathan made me chicken uh, no fish, uh, fish nuggets fish, fish stick <laughs> fish, <sticks>. fish nugget <laughs> And, Nugget and a biscuit. And I completely uh, forgot until he just told me, but then I realized how much that like saved me that night. They it it, it soaked up the mm -hmm. amount of mad dog I fucking <laughs> drank. <laughs> we went all the way into the fish. Word word to the wiser than me, do not I'm I'll do it again, but do not <laughs> drink more than two bottles of Mad Dog twenty twenty in the same night. I've done it before. Before that night, I definitely had, well, maybe. I'm drinking, I'm drinking like two plus bottles of Thunderbird in a night, but I don't think I've ever drinking more than one. I used to drink. There used to be a different kind of fortified wine called Johnny Bootlegger. Johnny Boob Sucker. Johnny Boob Sucker. That was kind of like Mad Dog. It was the same. It like came in bright colors, but it was like you saw the bottle of Mad Dog. It was like half the size of that. Mm. And I was, I would always I drink like a few of those every mm. night, but I haven't seen those guys. I think those when uh, all the Ford of I'm surprised Mad Dog. It's not called Mad Dog by the way. It's called MD2020. I don't it's know. MDMA. MDMA2020. I don't know what the M the MD actually stands for, but like everyone in college would just call it Mad Dog. Mad, Mad Dog 2020, but I'm surprised it's still still around because I mean I mean R.I.P. Thunderbird I've lamented on that and like I haven't seen Johnny Bootlegger and God I haven't seen Night Train forever I I think Fortified Wine it's just it's a dying breed it's a dying breed it's a dying breed they don't want bums to get just drunk like anymore. straight men it's true well no alpha men now it's all about the sigma male. Mm. The, you, it's about the strigma male. The, sh the, sh the ligma male. <laughs> Has everyone said that before? Am I the first I one think, to say that? I think I've said that in some uh, chat before. All right, all right. <laughs> no, I think I said sigma balls. <laughs> sigma balls. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of got the sigma balls. <laughs> Nuts. Yeah, so we lost audio. Yeah, we lost a bunch of quality content. We were we kind of just were talking about Hades. We don't yeah. need to read. <laughs> Whatever. I'm really good at Hades. I'm Nathan, one achievement I... away from getting all the Steam achievements. Okay, I, I, it's all I, I, that matters. I, I, I've said this before. So like the the difference in between Nathan and I gaming is like <laughs> I play I play way less games, obviously. But, like, the few I play, I get really into and really good at. But Nathan is just so naturally good at playing games because all he like fucking does gamer. is play games. He doesn't He doesn't have women. He has video games. Uh -huh. It's fine. It, that's true. Um, but, <laughs> dude, I, yeah, you, you're really good at Hades. And he, sh he showed me some clips of, like, a crazy run he had. I'm just like, yeah. dude, that's sick. Yeah, I should use some stuff you ain't never seen before. I mean, I've seen I've similar. I've seen similar. Okay, I'm good at Hades. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hades is a great game. Oh, yeah, we've talked about it before. Game. It needs more updates. Oop. It needs. It, I mean, it's it's just so add a fat DLC. For real, dude. Add an endless mode. Add more how gods. Would that, how would that? Do you think you would just keep there's cycling through mod. the floors? There's, oh. Yeah, there's already a mod for that. When you win, it lets you just start at the first floor again with all your shit. Oh my god, that's so overpowered. That's yeah. tight. Well, they could, they could if the actual developers did it instead of a stinky mod, yeah. uh, it could be really cool. Like it could get harder each time. Isaac, Isaac has a really mm -hmm. good implementation of that. Implementation. Implementation. Is that? I've got implementation in my lymph nodes. Im implementation. I think that's uh, more right. Implementation. Maybe. What do you think? I don't know. Impl 
implantation. Implantation, whatever. <laughs> the Binding of Isaac has implemented that really well, yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. Um, they, 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 there's this thing called rerun, and it's only if you take like the the less take. Okay, because there's like two kind of main end paths on Isaac. You either fight blue baby or you fight the lamb but people usually when they play runs to win they go the route of blue baby because when you get to the final floor you open these chests that have a better typically better item pool than if you go the other route but so they implemented this thing where if you go the other route you have an option and you beat it you have an option to do a rerun so you start at the beginning with all of your things and you yeah. can go through it again and then you go through it a second time and then you start to they it like randomly depletes you of some of the items you've made or you've you've collected so it kind of gets harder but like i don't know it's not i mean it it doesn't it it has some like in-game unlocks for when you do that but it doesn't really have like reuse but it's just like it I think it was a good use yeah. of rerun yeah. for a roguelike because I think it's hard to do. Yeah. But yeah. 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 Anyways, uh, Nathan should return to the Binding of Isaac. Mm. He just needs some time. Um, <laughs> it's such a good game. I've been, <laughs> I've been kind of thinking about going back to Dark Souls Three. I never beat it Ooh. on stream because I got, well, I got pretty far and then I tried to do the DLC and then I spent hours on the same boss and then I was like i need a new build so i restarted the game mm. with a new build and then i got stuck way earlier than the dlc <laughs> and i was like okay well i guess i'll try again and then uh, and then i was in the first area and i was just like i can't play dark souls anymore what have you been so, playing on stream i haven't been able to watch uh, you in a while i've been playing morrowind oh, hell yeah. i've been playing the tamriel rebuilt mod i don't know what that means it's really good it basically doubles the size of the game. Basically, I think, was it's that the one? Sick. I think you were telling me about it a yeah. while ago. That just ha oh. has like a whole new map a whole area, new, basically. A whole new yeah. landmass. It yeah. feels like a DLC. It's uh, like unlike most mods, it's basically indistinguishable in quality from the base game because there's like no voice acting or anything. Mm -hmm. When you talk to guys, it's just text. So, it, cool. and the text is mostly written up to it feels like the same text from the base game and everything looks good it all looks sick there's like some new enemies that look appropriate are there mud good. crabs there are mud crabs there <laughs> are there are <laughs> um cool but yeah no um yeah if you've never played morrowind before the base game takes place on the island of Ardenfell. If you look at the Elder Scrolls map, there's a big island in the middle of Morrowind. And that's the base game. It's shaped game. like a penis. It's shaped exactly like a penis. And this mod aims to let you go to the rest of the province of Morrowind. Kind of into the balls, if you Into if, the balls of were. Morrowind. Yeah. Um, yeah, and like, I don't know, they're like getting close to halfway done with making the whole rest of the province, which is pretty sick cool it's fucking epic it is cool when fans have the means and care about a game that much mm -hmm. i think it's cool Morrowind well that's how game. that's how um the, the the latest binding of isaac expansion got made is there was this there was this huge um mod called anti-birth that people made on their own and then edmund the maker of <laughs> binding of isaac <laughs> saw it and he's like yeah you guys want to work with me? <laughs> and so he just come on, come on. Yeah, so we just like got them on, and then that's the the, the bulk of the new Isaac Repentance is Sick. what they made in Anti Birth. Like oh, it's really yeah. cool. It's fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah if Bethesda wasn't uh, like fucking dead, mm. like I would say they should like make the Tamriel rebuild be official and add it onto their old game, but they would never do that because they don't care about their old games and their corporate hacks. You should go knock on the door of the Mist headquarters that is in Spokane, Washington, yeah. and ask them to do it. Ask them to make Morrowind? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Imagine if the Mist creators made like a game in the world of that though. Uh, wouldn't that, that would be, be insane? Cool. That would be <laughs> That'd cool. be so insane. <laughs> I want the Mist creators to watch me play Mist on stream. That'd be Next cool. time I do a 24-hour yeah. stream of Mist. You think you're still going to play Mist? 
<laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. You well, played okay. it through so many times. Like what I'm thinking for my next, my stream anniversary is coming up. Wait, is it just not until October? September. Oh, it's September. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might play Dark Souls with like a mod that randomizes every enemy and every item. It's cool. North. I've watched Northern Mind do that yeah. a lot. It's cool. Yeah, I might do that. I don't know if that's 24 hours worth of content. We'll see. I guess it depends on if I run into Gwyn at Firelink Shrine or not. I think I should just come over and we should 24-hour co-op Halo. <laughs> I already did it 24 hours. <laughs> I know. I got carpal tunnel. <laughs> I'd do it again, though. Yeah. I don't know how I'd prevent my, me from getting carpal tunnel, though. I don't know. Get fit. I guess. No, that 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 doesn't affect your carpal tunnel. It's yeah. Uh, I get. I don't think. Well, uh, what does it feel like when you get carpal tunnel? I mean, this is the only time I've ever gotten it, but like, okay. I don't know. Like my arm was sore. Like my little, my little gay little strands. See, I get weird things either from like doing the same like processes at work or like playing guitar things where I get really weird like electrical nerve pain like shooting through my fingers and it like and like I do like the little mm. fucking like Ethan shake where I have like it feels like I have Tourette's mm. but, yeah no I didn't get any like fingertip stuff but like I could tell like I don't know like your your wrist has like the big fucking yeah. big big little pulley system like if you look at your wrist Please. and you yeah. and you move your fingers you can see the little the little strands in your wrist pulling Death each stranded. one back like i don't know like <laughs> those were all sore Ew. all my little strands yeah i hate that yeah like, it sucks <laughs> the first strand type wrist <laughs> 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 hey. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Oof! 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 Oh no! Oof. I gave uh -oh. myself hiccups! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Uh oh. oh no. Damn. Oh no. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Yes. Okay, uh, talk about some something to talk. Uh, uh, how about. I gotta Those... get these under control. <gasps> oh. How about the Giants game, huh? Oh, that... <laughs> that was crazy. I saw a really cool video of the Chicago Bulls today. It was a bunch of CGI bulls running through Chicago, and they looked really bad. Yep, I want to watch that. And then the guy who posted it said, um, bowling alley screens when you get a strike. <laughs> it was really ah, good. That's... I, uh... I want to see that. I want to see Jamie, that. Jamie, pull up the video. <laughs> I forgot. Ah! Oh. Okay. Here's what you have to do. This is how my friend in college taught me how to get rid of hiccups. But I don't know if it'll work because I'm giving you pre-knowledge. <laughs> but what you do. Uh, I'm giving you pre-cum. I'm giving you pre-cum. If you take your hands like this, you, you make a, a little bowl. And then out of nowhere, you got you have to run over to me. You have to hold hold this bowl of hands up to my mouth, and you have to yell at me and command me to 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 hiccup into your hands. I don't want to do that. I hate you. The video isn't coming up, but oh, a bunch of I, there's a bunch of cool stuff though. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things. <laughs> Is it still recording when you open up a? Okay, yeah, we're, we're, still, we're, we're still going. St we're still going for now. We have 15 minutes left. We just have to make it 15 minutes. Really? Uh, I yeah, don't... we recorded 30 minutes before. I don't know if I can last that long. Uh, quick, think of something funny to say here. Okay. <laughs> okay. We need a cool bit. All the good podcasts <laughs> uh, have bits. All right. I scream a lot. So, we're gonna come up with something really funny. <laughs> Let's pitch our very own Netflix original series, okay? This is a series okay. about <laughs> a man. Oh, are you looking at me to like? 
A black man. A black man. Who is raised in a white family. In a white family. And he struggles mm -hmm. with, with um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the pressure of being straight. Straight. Because in a gay family. Yeah, because it's um, a gay white family in a straight black. Because man. they're really progressive. Because they they adopted a black a gay couple adopted a black mm -hmm. child. Yeah. Because they're really progressive. And they also have gay children. Yeah. Too. They have two. They have three pairs of gay children. Wait, what? That's. Okay, Six ignore gay what I children, just, one no, 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 black. I don't like that. Ignore okay. that part. That's weird. <laughs> no, they just have the one black child. Okay, it's just the one no black gay child. children. No, there's gotta be one gay son. Okay, they have one gay son. They have one gay son. And then one straight black son. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gay. And they're gay. And, and they're all white. And they're all except white. Except for the straight one. And they're all really progressive, and that's uh -huh. why. And so they want to raise like a, a young black boy into the wor world of progressive white wokeness, but mm -hmm. he doesn't get down with that. He doesn't get down. He's, he's not wearing the mask. He's not wearing the mask. He's he's saying the n word, which is okay. Yeah, it's fine for him. For him. <laughs> yeah. Well, could his parents say it because they have no? They don't. That's not. They, they don't. could, they but they, they don't. don't. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> that's a that's one of the episodes is that he tries to get them to say the n word. He says it's okay. It's okay. You can say it, and they won't say it. And they won't. And he say keeps it. trying to get them yeah, to say the n word, and yeah. they won't. They won't because at heart they're still good people. Mm -hmm. Sheltered poor people. Yes. Um, there's also an episode where they find <laughs> find out he's allergic to kale. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. Call it because they find a fad diet where they only eat kale for a uh -huh. week. <laughs> it's actually the season finale where they find out the black child is allergic to kale and he fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's like the end of Breaking Bad. Yeah. Wait, spoilers. I, I don't know. I oh. assume he dies. I, don't, <laughs> I haven't watched it. No, Walter White doesn't die because doesn't he shows he up in Better Call Saul. Okay. Doesn't he? No, Somebody he doesn't. dies. No, it's the move El Camino. Somebody <laughs> must die. There's no way that show ends with nobody dying. The black guy dies. Yeah, the gay, the straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> there's like, I sorry, I've never seen Breaking Bad. I just know there's a, a black male character and there's like this really corny scene where he like dies in an explosion. And, and like half Ooh, of his face, said. half of his face gets like melted off, and then he still like walks out of the room and like strains his tie, and he's like, "Damn" or something. And then <laughs> oh shit! And, yeah, like basically, I I've just seen that. I don't know. I don't know anything about Breaking Bad. I know he goes, <laughs> "Yikes!" Am I right, fellas? Okay, I know that about Breaking Bad. I, I know the scene where he throws the pizza on the roof. There's a fly episode. I don't know about that one, but then I also know like Jess, Jesse, 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 uh, uh, Jesse, we're making meth. <laughs> Jesse, get over here! I'm trying to make more meth. Yeah. Is it meth? Is that what they're making? I think so. I know how to make meth because I'm a chemistry teacher and I have cancer. Just like Nile Red. Nile Red knows how to make meth. Who? You know Niall Red? He's, huh? he's the chemistry boy in the William Osmond orgy of science oh. YouTube bros. I don't know him, but I know that. Okay. <laughs> Oi. I just I I just hold my breath when I have hiccups. It I works try to every do that. time. Just hold your breath for a really long time. Just keep holding it. Don't give up. Just keep going. Keep holding your breath. I just, just keep going. <laughs> you just keep, you just keep holding it. This is going on for a while. I'm getting, I'm getting worried. <laughs> just, just keep, just keep going. Uh, just keep, <laughs> just keep going. Just keep holding it. Just keep holding it. And then once you get on the other end, uh, you know. Oh, God. be all good. Oh, that's how long I ate out your mom's pussy. Oh. Did it work? 
I don't know if that picks up. <laughs> I don't know if it picks up. I also think that bit might have got cut out. In <laughs> I don't remember what got cut out. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Hey. We got that. Did you one. ever do this? <laughs> 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 I was just scratching my eyes. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> we have plausible deniability. There's no camera. Mm. Nothing happened. I listened to Red Scare today. How was that? It was all right. <laughs> Are they still hopping, happening? They're hippening? still happening. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. They're fun to listen to. Yeah. I don't really get what they're talking about half the time. Me either. They, 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 they're very intellectually detailed about things I don't give a fuck about. Yeah. So... But are they? I think it's mostly a charade. A charade. I don't know. I don't know. They just they they just go in depth on things that like I don't know if it warrants it, but I listen anyways. Like menstruation. Yes, they're always talking about their menstrual cycles. Oh, man, dude. Uh, <laughs> they're like, Ugh, my pussy's Town never talks about menstruation. True, and that's why I like Pum Town better. Pum Town. Home Town. Pum Town. <laughs> Pub oh, clan. speaking of people coming to Spokane. What? Nick not Mullen? Not Spokane. Nick Mullen is Seattle, coming to Spokane? But Seattle. Nick Mullen is coming to Seattle? Wait, uh, Stavros. Stavros is... Nah, I don't want to see that. You don't want to see Stavros? <laughs> no, I see Stavros. Come on. Come that's, on. That's cool. I don't know. Just I was almost thinking up. about going, but I don't want to go that far. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> also Portland. The dragon fruit, though. I don't know if Kay would be into it. <laughs> Come to mm, no, they're too PC. <laughs> but who knows what the Stavros stand-up is like. Dude, I feel like it's bad. But, like, yeah. good, but, like, bad. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it might, his stand-up might be something I'm not into, but I don't know. I watched a Nick Mullen stand-up a little bit on YouTube, and it was, that was yeah. funny. I, I always... I always think I want to try stand-up comedy, but like, I'm, I, dude, I don't, I'm, my humor is 100% improvised. Like, I don't remember anything. Like, if yeah. I think of something funny, it has to be in the moment. I can't mm -hmm. think of like this funny, like, penis, 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 like story, and then be like, hmm, I'll tell that at a later note, and it'll be funny. So he's walking down the street, and I saw this fucking whore. Well, see, I'd come with that. I, I would be just be like, so on my way here to the comedy show, I saw a guy shooting heroin in the alley. I was like, okay, cool do that <laughs> and then people would laugh <laughs> and i'd be like why are you laughing and then and they'd be like <laughs> and i'd be like why are you laughing i'm walking and then I, and then i'd just be like no nah, it's fucking hilarious and they'd be like wait what and then i'd be like isn't it and they're like no i'm like yeah you're right and then that's my and then you go bazinga yeah and then i would unironically go bazinga because it's bazinga funny. and then i would go my name is jeff uh-huh <laughs> I, I, I seriously want to give stand up a try, but like I just don't I don't yeah. like I've heard good things about the Spokane Comedy Club, but I just feel like comedians in Spokane aren't good. I don't know. I I know I can be funny. Yeah. But I've never thought of a stand up bit before in my life. Well that's what I mean. Like I've never like written a funny bit. Yeah. I mean I can't like I've like I l I really like the idea of doing stand up. Yeah. But, like, I've sat there and I've thought, like, what would I do? Right. No, me too. I don't know. I know. Cause I like, have no ideas. Uh, we'll, we'll Zero both, ideas. We'll both agree that each other to each of us is, like, the funniest person we know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. like, uh, The per <laughs> funniest person I know is Nick Mullen from the Come Town Podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're not funny. The funniest person to me is fucking, um... Nick Mullen from the Come no, Nick, Town Nick, podcast. No, what's her? No, what's uh, this fucking? I forgot the names uh, of the Red Scare Girls. <laughs> Dasha. Dasha, yeah. Anna. Dasha. Dasha and Anna. That's it. Funniest person to me is Melissa McCarthy. True. Funniest person to me is Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Funniest person to me is Carrot Top. Shout Ooh. out Carrot Top. Mm, I can give him some Carrot Top. 
One time, me and one of my roommates in college were, like, wasted. And we're like, dude, if we just, like, watch a carrot top compilation <laughs> on YouTube, thinking, like, it would just be, like, ironically funny. But, like, it was actually a bad time. Like, it's just <laughs> not funny. It's so bad. Yeah, carrot top is... He's kind of in the Jeff Dunham tier. But his thing is... Do you think there is a funny way to do prop comedy? Yeah. Give me an example. Like that's like not if you were making fun of Carrot Top. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever wa- actually watched Carrot Top? Like I've only seen like bits and pieces, and every time I was like, "This is zero percent funny." <laughs> it's ins- it's just like w- what's insane to me about Carrot Top. Carrot Top. 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 Carrot Chop. Carrot Chop. Carrot Top is like it's the Asian version. He has it down to like an art. He has it down <laughs> to like an art form though, because like he takes it like so seriously. Like he has all of his props uh-huh. and like he knows what to do. And like it's just like so. It's the same reason I I think Primus is bad. Okay, seriously, and like that kind of rock music because it's like, dude, you can do it. You can be technically good and keep doing it, but it's like it's it's still like it, it, it's boring to me because it's like it's not it's not interesting, it's not uh, funny. I Sorry, I, that's that that was it. I was, <laughs> this is a carryover. This is from- a carryover. Earlier, I was <laughs> ripping on Dylan because Primus is playing Spokane tomorrow night, but the half I of could the, go. half I of could go see you it. could go see Primus. I could go see Primus half of their set they're playing a fucking rush album in full no they're playing two sets they're playing that's why i said half of full yeah, set okay whatever of a rush album yeah uh, which i don't like rush i think rush is fucking garbage i don't think primus is garbage but i just don't like primus <laughs> uh, you know we're improving we're getting progress <laughs> i uh, we, we've talked about this on the podcast a lot. I, I am a hater of a lot of music <laughs> just because there is so much music in the world that I love and I want people to listen to. And then when there's something I don't like, it's just like, this sucks. Like, there's so much yeah. better things you can listen to. Why the fuck are you listening to Primus? <laughs> uh. But Primus, but like, okay, I mean, bottom of the bear. Okay, music is a barrel. Rush is the bottom of the barrel. Primus is floating somewhere in the middle. I Rush at the bottom. I would. Dude, fuck Rush. I mean, uh, Rush can suck my dick, dude. I don't think I No, no, fuck you, fuck you. Rush sucks. I don't know, it's fine. Oh my god, no, it's bad. The worst music for me is stuff where, like, there's no creativity. It's just stuff that's made to, like appeal to the widest audience possible and nobody really believes in what they're dude, making. Dude, that's Rush, dude. I don't You're think, describing no, Rush. <laughs> Rush is like weird and like experimental no, they're for not. the a time. No, fucking prog bands sound exactly like Rush. Well, that's because Rush was the first one. <laughs> yeah, okay, when you make music <laughs> music that is easily imi- imitatable Im- dude, I am mm. fucking up words. That's the thing, dude. Okay, like, when, when musicians are, like, technically good, like, fucking Jimi Hendrix, and but then, like, a million fucking dudes mm. in their fucking apartment with a guitar can perfectly play I Jimi mean, Hendrix you solos. You can copy anything Not, if you practice. No, you can't, because <laughs> there is music that is honest and genuine that comes across only from life experience that is not completely mechanical and well rehearsed and well and well technical there is I don't know. no you I don't, don't know, know if you any, can you call don't like anything <laughs> rush or jimmy hendrix bad i don't know St- something like nickelback or like a lot of the pop bands we grew up with where it's just like <coughs> there is nothing to it this is just factory produced pop music I like mean, that's, I won't argue that's that. terrible. I, no, I'm Something not... like Jimmy, H- like I don't listen to Jimi Hendrix. No, I don't I... listen to Rush, but like, it's not as bad as that. It's not shit. as bad, but there's levels of bad. 
It's like I I am not going to put that at the bottom of the like that's that's something like if somebody says okay, they like Okay, it's a Rush, deep bottom. It's a deep bottom. Rush is on like, the top of the bottom. <laughs> if somebody's <laughs> If somebody says they like Rush, I'm gonna be like, fair enough. No, because no, says... the kind of person that likes Rush, you know who that is. And it's like, oh, there's music that you can judge someone's fucking personality on. If you like Rush, I don't like you. If you like I Five don't. Finger Death Punch, Five Finger Death Punch, that's something where I would judge you for li liking it. Then Rush, why can't you judge someone for Rush, liking if Rush? If somebody likes Rush, I, that's... I don't have a, any problem with that. Like, Rush is fine. No. There's nothing no. wrong with Rush. Dude, there, there, there are it, things Rush wrong. Is and there, I'm not saying they're completely wrong. There's wrong and right things to Rush, <laughs> but it's mostly wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Ru so, something like Rush... Like he's a pinball wizard. Oh, cool! No, wait, well, that's a okay, who. who? Okay, never mind. I thought that was Rush. <laughs> wait, I don't even know a fucking Rush song because they all, all right. sound the same. <laughs> I will say, in my limited experience of listening to Rush, why did I think like, the who was Rush? I'm they sorry. Have I'll apologize for that. They I'll apologize for that. They have a unique sound. They have their own niche. I don't think so. They are creatively so. valid. I don't think so. I literally do not think so. I mean, it's fine if it's not to your taste, but I, I don't think it's not my taste. I think it's over. It's it's overrated. Okay, I nothing say that sounds it's like Rush. Overrated. <laughs> I don't believe that. There's so many fucking prog bands, and there's so many people that listen to Rush and be like, "I want to play music like Rush," and they do it. It's easy. I mean... <laughs> because when you get to that point okay. where you're playing arena rock, you have to be technical. You have to play the same shit every night. And Rush then is not what I think of when I think of arena rock. I, I think of, like, fucking Kiss when I think of arena rock. Those are Kiss the, is garbage. Kiss and Kiss Rush is what I are the same thing to me. See, okay, no. same thing. No. I... <laughs> dude. <laughs> Kiss, Kiss is just, like... Okay, let's market these guys. Look at how cool we are. We love having okay. sex. Okay, and but then Rush kids? is like, let's make a like okay. seven minute Bit long song ah. about like a forest. Dude, I can do that. Okay, well, Kiss is cooler <laughs> than Rush. I, I could play any song. No, with listen to my practice. hot take. Listen to my hot take, dude. <laughs> Kish is Kiss. <laughs> Kish. Kiss is cooler <laughs> than Rush. Even though I hate Kiss. Because they're a fucking Ugh. meme, and they understand that. Even though, mm. dude, they both play arena shows, they both appeal to fucking boomers, <laughs> but KISS acknowledges that. They have their whole fucking, dude, they have an aesthetic, it's cool, but Rush is just like, <laughs> ee, cool. ee. <laughs> 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 I, I am being antagonistic <laughs> for a purpose. It's for a higher purpose. It's for a higher purpose. The main point here is, like, I'm not into Rush or Prog Rock or any <laughs> fucking arena rock. Yeah. Well, yeah. And if you are, it's fine. I don't... I'll, I'll say this... I say this all the time. I don't want to shame anyone for the music they listen to. Unless you listen to Nickelback. Unless... No, dude. And see, I won't... <laughs> but see, that's me. Like, even if you're into Nickelback and that's what you're into, then fuck yeah, dude. Like, I don't care. But it's like, I'm still gonna critique it because, like, dude, my personality... <laughs> it, it, the basis of me is, like, dude who listens to music. Like... I have yeah. to talk about music and be like, uh, yeah. why, why do you listen to what you listen to? It's like, what is the point of listening to Rush? Like, I just don't get it. I don't know. They go like, bring. They yeah, go but like, bring. you know how many other people <laughs> go bring? That's what I'm saying. Bring. Bring. Dude, Nickelback goes, blah, 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 blah. I'm a rock star. <laughs> I was having sex with a bitch. I wish. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of feel like, I feel like I'm going into a mean phase. You're going into a mean phase? Yeah. Yeah, like I, I was playing Morrowind the other day, and this guy came in my chat, and he was like doing some dumb bit, and I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, I don't know. I didn't give a fuck. I was just like, okay, this guy's being a weirdo. Like, shut up. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. I don't know. But like, I, you know what's brought this on? Wait, do you think I'm mean? 
I don't know. While well, you were just talking about like your 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 critique of music and stuff, and that made me think about how I'm okay. Okay. I'm giving less of a fuck about stuff. That's like one that. of my few. I'm being okay. More okay. Cynical. I'm being okay. More, okay. I'm being more. I don't give a fuck yeah. about that mode. See, but the thing is, like, being mean <laughs> or like mad is like one of my or, or if someone says I'm like mad is like one of my one of my like soft points. Mm. Because mm. like, <sighs> you mad, bro? Yeah, I mean, I, I that that's a joke, so I get it. But it's like because <sighs> the thing is how I've always thought about it, like when you're mad. I think that like, I'm being serious here. Like I think I think mad is like a dead end. Like you are so like upset and like angry that there's like no progressing. But like I literally if 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 I give a feeling of being mad, I think of it as like upset. Like I'm heated, but it's like I I want to get to like a common ground and like get over it because like I think mm-hmm. staying mad and being angry it's such a waste of energy. And yeah. like, it's like, and like, oh, yeah. when, and, when, when I think people it, like are yeah. having an argument and the guy's like, Oh, you're mad. I win. You're mad. I hate that shit. Dude. <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, you're, you're being stupid. Exactly. What did, being mad yeah. doesn't mean anything. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> and like, that's, I think it's funny. You, you say you feel more cynical now and like, yeah. I get it. Like I come across as a cynical person, <laughs> but like, dude, I, I just like care so much about everything. And that's, like, how I get so passionate and angry because I care too fucking much. Like, (laughs) I do, like... My weakness is (laughs) I care too much. much. But it's true, though. Like, dude, that's why I get heated. It's just because I like people being passionate. I care about what they like. But if what you like sucks, I'm going to tell you it fucking (laughs) sucks. (laughs) You know? Yeah. Well, see, I'm I'm able to get on that level. Yeah. See, I I do a thing that most people don't do, which is <laughs> yo sig- real sigma. Male I've got hours. a sigma grind set mindset. <laughs> here. Uh, so when pe- somebody says something and they say it like <laughs> as like this sucks, like you know they frame it as an objective statement. I can take that as oh this is a reflection of how they feel. Sure. And a lot of people when they see somebody say like this sucks, they're just like. Uh, wait a minute. I will prove to you that this doesn't suck, actually. And like, okay, Ben uh, Shapiro. Okay, <laughs> Ben Shapiro. Yeah, I don't know. You just have to when somebody's like, "This sucks." You 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 can't take it too personally. Yeah. This is just there. Yeah. I even if they're framing it as an objective statement, you know. Sure. It is a subjective statement. You have to realize that. Yeah. Don't get head over heels. Don't get too crazy. Yeah, and especially, and especially about music. When I'm arguing uh, music with someone, I never come at it from an objective point. When I say Rush shucks, it is subjective. And if you tell me, if you actually argue with me about how good Rush is, like, I'll take it. But but whenever there's a band I don't like, like, I, I hate Rush. And, like, well, I was telling you earlier about how much I fucking hate Queen. But, like, every argument that's ever come at me about Queen is just like, but they're good. You have to like them. I'm just like, no. Like, that's not how... Uh, like taste works like it's 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 subjective it's not objective like music isn't inherently good okay like it's not music sucks yeah and i agree with that like i get so mad every time i hear a chord (laughs) or a lick what's your least favorite chord a penis no way be serious i what do you mean (laughs) when you hear a chord well like you know like uh, like when you hear like a fucking like this is not I can't say a chord. <laughs> I know. Is, what what would I say? I don't know. Like D seven flat major sucks. <laughs> I mean, kind of. <laughs> I don't know what key is it in. <laughs> Your mom. Your mom. Your my mom. God. No, she did. She did. She, she did. Like she like we, we saw my mom when we went to the lake. We did. It was nice. She got snacks. Um, we're at an hour and ten. I kind of feel like even if if we can end this whenever, but I think we should keep it recording after ending to see how how long it goes, to see okay. if I fix the problem. <laughs> okay. Um. 
<laughs> These nuts. I also have to pee really fucking bad. Oh. Fuck, I gotta pee, gotta pee, nah, gotta hold pee, out gotta a little pee. longer. We need a good, we need a good ending, <laughs> technically. Oh, look out, a big monster. <laughs> ah! <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, You're gotta, not getting away gotta, that we easy. Gotta mix, <laughs> we, we gotta mix up the endings. We can't just end everyone with a uh, look out. <laughs> oh, by the way, last episode you forgot. I for you forgot. This is the problem. We get drunk every time, and I forget. We need to like start writing down timestamps or something. There was another time when we were supposed to put a video in the YouTube video. <laughs> that didn't happen. Uh, we're getting better, dude. We have a table now with mics. This is a this is a setup. We have the, no, a good. spot. Yeah. We have the we have the place for the the drinks go I'm, in the middle. Yeah. We look across. We make eye contact. Hi. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah. I'm hard. Are you hard? Are you torqued? I'm fully torqued. You. <laughs> I was even thinking about being torqued. About being torqued. No, I was thinking like, I don't know. Halfway thinking about a rebrand with the new mics. We'll see how it sounds. Okay. But like, I don't know. I feel like there should be a way to signal if you can't stand the bad audio quality. This is where you start. So like I don't know maybe like <laughs> we start season two. I mean I, I like I mean I like that. We'll have to see how this sounds. I I suspect it will sound very good. I think it'll sound good. I think I mean I feel like I've talked to you a little bit about this with like music, about like how I I just like I've changed my musical performance name a lot. And I think that should be a thing that's like normalized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I don't think anything needs to be rigid. It's just like when you feel like <laughs> I can think of one thing. That uh, needs to yeah, be rigid. I, could, I could think of a couple <laughs> things that should be rigid. <laughs> <laughs> Me and your mom's clit. <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever felt a rigid clit? Okay, moving on. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, yeah, you yes. know what I mean. Like, I yeah, I think it's completely fine to be like, okay, yep, yeah, we're we're kind of doing it new, and like, it's kind of also a joke to be like, yeah, we're season two. Like, <laughs> <Season laughs> I like that a lot. Season actually. two, yeah, that's funny. Uh, it's it's funny. But have you ever <laughs> felt a rigid clit? I mean, I I I felt I felt a clit. I felt they get clit. pretty engorged. <laughs> Uh, she said she said I was doing good down there, so I don't, I don't know. We need a girl on the podcast, dude. Girls. I mean, we already had K, but. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> we need a girl with a clit. <laughs> Well, okay. If you're here's a girl with a clip, okay. please. Okay, sorry. Here's something I've thought about. How come Jenny hasn't been on? Well, okay. Jenny, we will have Jenny as a guest, an actual guest soon. It's just, I, I told her this, like, when we were in, like, major pandemic and we were at home, it was just, like, she was, like, always there. And it was, like, kind of funny just to have her chime oh, yeah. in. But, like, yeah, I think she yeah. should come on as, like, an actual guest. Mm -hmm. It'd be good. Mm -hmm. She is she is unofficially our manager. She says all, right. all the time she could like we could be popular now if she like actually did like our social media from the start, which I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we gotta figure out how to get people on board with the podcast. God. We gotta start an ad campaign. We need t shirts. Yeah. We need stickers. I mean, what if we made a porn? You wanna you wanna <laughs> fucking roast a girl like a rotisserie yeah. chicken? Let's get a girl in here. Yeah. Let's get the first girl on the podcast and we'll film a porn with her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll strap her down, make her watch Bell Delphine, mm -hmm. bake her some fucking fish sticks. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out the name of the guy in the Bell Delphine porn and we'll make her call me that guy when I fuck her and I call her <laughs> Bell Delphine. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I really, <laughs> I'm fucking lost. <laughs> you have to fucking pee. Um, you have to pee. All right, let's. You know, okay, we're having a uh, real ending to the episode. I have to pee. Um, thank I you, thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you for hanging with us so as we continue to improve, use new technology. Oh 
if you have money, please go to Patreon and love us. If we have enough people, we'll start doing things on Patreon. We'll do special things. Nathan will make a drawing. I'll fucking do a cum tribute. Someday we'll have merch. We'll get good guests. We'll make actual videos on YouTube. Anyways, follow Worm Zone on Twitter. Maybe we'll start tweeting. That'd be cool if we started tweeting. What do you think? Nathan is about to pee in his pants. So thank you, everyone. Good night. Goodbye.